I'm Johnny, the England team rep responsible for forming a team for World Open War, which is an international team tournament organised by South End on Sea Wargaming Club, or SSWG, in Southeast England. The tournament is unique in that not only are you playing as a member of a three person team, the rankings are done in groups. The 16 teams are split into four groups for day one based on subjective rankings from the TOs, referees, and their advisors. But day two sees the groups reshuffled, the winner of each group going into group one, the second place in each group going into group two, etc. Then there's a trophy for the winner of each group. Having played in WoW last year, I really enjoyed the competitive element, bolt action played in the best of spirits by people from multiple different countries. It really was a very sporting atmosphere, played on some of the finest tables you'll ever play bolt action on, and I thoroughly enjoyed the entire weekend. It's also a great opportunity, if you're a big fish in a small pond, to test your ability against the best players in the world. If this seems right up your alley, but you're not English, please drop a comment below or contact us directly, and we'll get you in touch with your country's rep, or if there isn't one yet, we'll get you in touch with Russell, the TO, so you can start forming a team yourself. If you are English, or you're looking at how to form a team, here is how the England team will be selected this year. We're holding a qualification tournament on the 25th and 26th of May. The qualifier is being kindly hosted by Russell and SSWG in the very venue WoW proper will be held. We'll be using the actual terrain that we'll be using at World Open War, and Russell, TO of World Open War, will be TOing the Team England qualifier. This is because, as we are attempting to form the strongest possible bold action Team England, there are no guaranteed places in the team, and so I as rep will also be competing for my place in the team. The big benefit, of course, of running it at SSWG with Russell as TO means that this will be as close as possible to the actual international tournament, which should give us a small advantage against the international teams who haven't had as much experience playing on the actual tables we'll be seeing at the tournament itself. The selection will be the highest placed three English players of different bolt action nations. So for example, if the first or fourth players at the end of the qualifiers are all eligible to play for Team England, and are fielding British for first, British for second, Japanese for third, US for fourth, then in this instance, the first, third, and fourth placed player would be invited to form Team England, as the team must play with three different nations at World Open War. This selection method ensures that the team can be formed with players with a variety of unique strengths to produce the most competitive possible team to compete in the World Open War format. As such, players should be willing to use the same nation at WoW as they use at the qualifiers. In order to ensure we have a team who are serious about competing at an international level and can perform consistently, players who are invited to form Team England must also have three top 10 finishes at significant competitive tournaments in the last 12 months. The qualifiers are intended as an event to select the best possible England team for World Up More. However, the event is open to all and players of all abilities and nations are welcome to attend to test their mettle or embarrass the English locals. If this all sounds interesting to you, please check the description for links to the pack and tickets, and I look forward to seeing you there. Ta-ta for now.